friends welcome to another video today i want to talk about some really important topic what tools we are using what tools using the professional traders uh how they analyze the market and how they making some decisions so end of this video you will have a clear understanding uh how the trading is works how the analysis works and what tools um, i'm going to use and uh, for each tools you will have some kind of understanding but it's really important you're gonna li listen and watch this video till the end to understand this uh, information fully because if you miss any of uh, any information you will have a, a totally different view about the market right and about this analysis so today you will have opportunity to see live i mean in this video how i'm gonna use the analysis what instruments i'm going to use and how i'm going to set up it to my uh trading right so let's go to the charts and let's break down the bitcoin but before that i want to say that in, in trading i'm using the complex approach and the complex approach is the uh the only way which one you can use for successful trading and none of the single accelerator indicator or theory works in solo everything works only in combo so let's go and open the bitcoin's price right today let's uh, analyze the bitcoin uh, and let's see what we have we have some kind of bull market and after we have some kind of correction right all uh, after first uh first we having some kind of bull market after bull market we are seeing some kind of uh, bear market what is the bear market uh bear market usually is correctional wave i mean correctional structure of the market when the after the impulse we always have some kind of correction right so basically bear market is the full of this impulse correction so basically we have some kind of uh, impulse over here after we have some small correction of this impulse and this is end of this whole impulse and this is whole of this um, movement is the correction of the previous the previous the bull market so first of all what we are using uh first i'm using the waves we're seeing clearly here the a b and c um correction uh this is elliot's waves elliot's waves correctional a a b c we have two types of the um correction a b c or a b c d e a b c d e is the wrong correction but right now we clearly can see and can clearly break down the uh, a b c correction that this is usual harmonious abc correction right correct one so um plus it confirms with the volumes uh wave a confirms with the five impulsive waves inside of the wave a structure uh plus we having the wave b wave b confirms with divergency between price i mean the price is uh, here you can see clearly that the uh, volumes are decreasing and price is rising this is typical uh, correctional wave b or wave four right plus we are seeing that this is uh they, they have some kind of pattern this is called bear flag right we can draw it over here and do like this so after the bear flag we saw that uh, wave B, if we take a Fibonacci and put on the beginning of the wave A, end of the wave A, we saw that we touched the point C, uh, three levels. It's the minimum level for uh, correctional waves, and we touched that. And after we have some kind of a deep uh, wave C impulsive wave. So, what is the next? Uh, next, we should to uh, which levels. I mean, where is the end of this bear market, right? How we can uh, analyze that? Uh, what time is gonna be the some kind of bear market? End of this bear market. We take a Fibonacci and check the levels for wave C. Uh, we don't have the wave C's exactly levels where it it will touch, but we have a minimum levels where it can touch, right? So the minimum levels is wave um, one one point two by Fibonacci. This is the levels where we expecting the uh, end of the bear market. So end of the wave c in our scenario so as you can see we didn't touch that level so we didn't touch the minimum levels for wave c if we didn't touch the minimum wave c it means this is not a wave c and this is something other so because of this we have all moral rights to say the wave c didn't finish yet and we have uh, some continuation for wave c by technical side by waves plus fibonacci's and plus all other volumes and other uh, indicators so let's try to deep uh, deep dive inside of this wave c and try to to find what is going on over there and um, what we should to expect first of all wave c is impulsive wave impulsive waves includes five impulsive waves inside so if we take our waves here's the wave one two three four and five this is how i break down it and why i break down it because all other comfort i mean we don't just um, buy because 
I like these levels, I will put uh, here wave 2. No, of course, everything matched with uh, um, other conditions. I mean, to recognize some waves, you need to use the volumes, or you need to use the levels of Fibonacci, and uh, or each wave have its own um, kind of rule, How what, what it follows. For example, we are seeing the wave 3. Why is the wave 3? Wave 3 is because there we, we can see the most high of splash of volumes. It's always the wave C, uh, wave 3, wave C or wave 3. So so in our scenario, we clearly can see that this is uh, this uh, this impulse down. We clearly saw that there is a, a splash, the most high splash of volumes inside of the, there uh, happened over here. So basically, we can say that this is wave three. After the wave three, it follows the wave four, and here is getting more interesting. How to recognize that this is wave four and why we treat it as a wave four? First of all, we see the clear see the clear structure here: the wave A, B, and C, right? St clear structure about uh, inside of the wave 4 right so wave 4 has abc correction because wave 4 is correctional wave plus we are seeing the most um, confirmation that this is wave 4 and this correction that this is divergence between price and volumes right you can see clearly that the price is rising volumes are decreasing this is correctional structure of a market this is unharmonious market move and uh, like this market cannot continues forever so uh, this is caused the correction when the price is rising 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 and no one's interesting about the Bitcoin right uh, as the higher it, it is goes so uh, we can see the clear this divergence plus if we take a Fibonacci and put on the beginning of the wave 3 end of the wave 3 wave 4 is correctional wave of wave 3 so basically the minimum levels is 0.3 and most likely it comes 0 0.5 0 0.6 so we can see clearly that we touch that levels right Point, uh, 0 0.5 0 0.6 so we are right now in the zone of high attention we were we were in the zone of high attention so this is why uh, this all the before information which one we analyzed we it gave us um, some kind of confirmation that we are on the top of this uh, wave four so top of this movement plus it's matched with the strongest resistance in the history of the bitcoin so most likely we will see some kind of reaction first we saw that reaction boom we short the market uh, after again we bounced from the strongest support we bounced and again we shorted the market over there so basically market moves really really harmoniously and nothing changed so uh, after we saw many extreme candles, I'm not gonna show you the. Um, I mean, okay, let's uh, let's deep dive inside the weekly time frame. I will show you that here we saw really bearish candle over here. This is the zone of high attention. In the zone of high attention, we are expecting a reversal. So it means in this zone of high attention, we are looking for more conditions. So what we conditions we have extreme candles. Extreme candles means when the bodies is open in the third sector uh, and closed in the third sector, uh, and um, it has more volume than in the previous one by MVI combination so this is a really bearish candle and bearish um, bearish market action so this is one of the really strongest condition which one I really love to use in my trading system right and plus we are seeing in a zone of high attention which matched with the strongest resistance so we have all moral rights to open the some sort of short positions over there and we did um, short open the short position plus again we saw that extreme candle and again the market went, went down and again we saw this extreme candle and you can see right now we are falling like there's no tomorrow so um, this is how I analyze the market this is how I did open the short swing over there uh, and uh, what is our main target main target as a wave 5 of course we shorted the market to catch the wave 5 so if we take a Fibonacci and uh, let me break down the wave 5 what are the conditions we are looking for wave 5 first of all as the end of the wave 4 we saw that clearly that we broke this strongest resistance so it happened some kind of reversal we have a all moral rights to say that trend been changed and right now we are uh, hitting the all lower lows and lower highs so uh, it's time the trend is uh, changing its ways so let's check the levels where we expecting as a main target target as a main target first of all we've seized minimum levels was around 11,700 and right now let's check the uh, levels for wave 5 we take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of the wave a, a one window uh, beginning of the wave uh, one end of the wave three and end of the wave four so minimum levels for uh, wave 5 is around 0.6 
0.618. This is the level where we expecting Bitcoin's price. Plus, it matched with the minimum levels of with wave four. So, end of the bear market most likely will happen from these levels. Let me clean this picture real quick and let's mark this one as a green because this is our main target. Main target as a wave five and main target as a um, end of the wave C and also the minimum levels uh, for that. So, basically, we short the market to catch all these movements, right? But because we saw that we are in a wave five, as a trader, I opened the positions over there. I put stop losses around $35,000, $34,000. Uh, but that stop loss already doesn't matter, I think, because uh, we are in a profit and we're going uh, right side. So uh, what is the hour as a trader? What we what we should to do? First of all, we have a rule that wave five is uh, like kind of end of the end of the impulse, and uh, it's really likely to happen that this will be trunked. So this is trunked. It means it when it didn't touch its own levels, 0 0.6 in our scenario, right? It didn't touch our uh, our scenario. So basically, it's really happened. So we have a rules as traders that uh, inside of the wave five, wave five is impulsive waves. Inside have five impulsive waves. So end of the wave three, we will close our positions. Uh, the most part of the the positions of this short which one we short in the market we will close around nineteen thousand uh, dollar twenty thousand dollar it will be our first target so let's mark this level once again over here this is the strongest uh, support and we are expecting to close our shorts from nineteen thousand five hundred that's our first target second target we will put around the sixteen thousand dollar let's see what it will happen over there right because this is also really strong uh supporting our scenario and the last position we can hold until the eleven thousand dollar it's you you can you can even gamble it doesn't matter because you are already in a profit so uh in a main target our, our main target is eleven thousand five hundred around um twelve thousand dollar but it doesn't mean that we are exactly waiting for that uh as we will see some kind of strong support as we touched over there we touched that levels and we saw that there's no crazy amount of volumes that it means no one interesting bitcoin even by that price so what we're expecting of course we have all moral rights to uh follow our trend and say the continuation of the downtrend right so this is what we are expecting right now we are expecting that break this uh it will break this support because there's no volumes as we can see in all other uh conditions so as we will touch some really main support we will see the volume uh, if there will be some kind of confirmation uh, uh, about that, that there is like something crazy going on, it, the market will tell us, it will show us. So we should not panic or something like that. We should just react for that. So uh, after the $19,000, if we will touch, I will start to accumulate already, not as a trader, as an investor. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to continue to invest in the market around the $19,000, $16,000 and $11,000 here where I will aggressively open some, I mean, I invest in the crypto space, in the Bitcoin, Ethereum and all other projects, which one I'm going to share in my Telegram club, which the link in the description below. It's all for free right now. You're welcome to enter here. I'm sharing all information about the trading, my signals, my results, what is the most important. So this group actually uh, is all for free, but you can, you can use it and earn a lot of money over here because here where is my money here's where my results and everything so we are welcome to enter in this telegram club so if something changed i will tell you, you know, what i'm gonna do over here and as well i as i promised to my uh, community that i'm gonna uh, share my bag what i'm gonna invest but not now about this i make a whole big uh, huge uh, post over here right wait i'll show you you can find it uh, in my telegram club uh, i was talk about when i'm gonna share for you guys uh, the um my investment portfolio right what i'm gonna invest over here it is i cannot just uh, find real quick oh over here yeah so uh, my second for post over there i was talking about that as it times it will comes are uh, not not here uh i'm sorry i don't remember where it was exactly but uh, over before over here yeah here investment so here i shared all information what i'm gonna do but not now as the time will comes i will share all my bag what i'm investing and what project i'm investing and you can do it with me if you want so it's just my my own opinion and my uh, action so 
This is usually how the traders um, analyze the market about the smaller time frame. We can deep dive a little bit on a five hour time frame and I'm still expecting some kind of downtrend in the scalp positions as well because the trend is changed and we are following this tra trend. We didn't see some crazy amount of volumes. We wish out the stop losses, the people who were shorting late shorts over there. About this I make the video in a previous video so you can watch that them and so that everything we predict exactly and everything goes by our scenario as we say so my uh, all communities are uh, we are earning the money right now and in this group as we created this telegram club there is no unprofitable trades everything whatever I, we give over here everything is a non-profit you can check by yourself open uh, enter our telegram club and check it by yourself so basically yeah we are analyzing the really clearly good so we have all moral rights to to take our first pro uh, target as a 19,500 so right now is really good time to short the market it is not good time to invest in the market because we are still in a top so don't be the guy who is worth, who buying on the top if you bought a little bit down over here uh, do not buy over here I don't not suggest you if you do not hold anything you can buy a little bit just for in case everything can happen in a market and this is can be beginning of the bull market no one knows but by technicals we cannot see that bull market at all so this is why I suggest you to uh, wait some lower prices and the lower prices you can buy some Bitcoin or other projects right over $19,000 and lower until $11,000 because our main target as a, a technical analysis tell us is 11 7,500 so we're on 12k you can invest heavily so uh, this is what, how I analyze the market if you like how I analyze the market if you like my content you are welcome to subscribe to my channel enter my telegram club link in the description below plus I want to thank each one of you the people who is subscribing me right now supporting me putting those uh, likes because those likes is really important and the comments of course you're welcome to ask any question in the comment section I'm trying to answer each, each one of them fully and give you results uh, by and, and the, the uh, how I act and how I react the market and everything what I know about the market I'm just uh, sharing everything for free so you if you have any question you are welcome to ask me on in the telegram uh, you can DM me or ask me in the uh, comment section thank you for watching I'm posting videos every single day so you're welcome to subscribe to the channel press that notification bell to not miss any videos and see you tomorrow bye bye